Once they're up in the viewport areas, you can click on an image that you'd like to do some things with in regards to the software. Uh, so with the left mouse button, if you continually hold it down and move it from left to right, you will have a brightness feature and up and down will do a contrast. So you have real-time contrast and brightness adjustments that you can make on an image by just holding down the left mouse button. By holding down the right mouse button, you will get a magnification window and this magnification can be set in the setup as to what magnification strength you would like it to be. But if you have a mouse on your, I'm sorry, a wheel on your mouse, you can actually zoom in and out of the image once you've pushed the right mouse button and you are zooming in and out to verify things and zoom in on things that you might want to look at more closely. Uh, any image that you see here that you want to make full screen, it's as simple as double clicking and it will go full screen. You have the same contrast and brightness tools and the full screen feature as well. You also have some arrows at the top left that allow you to either go through the full mouse series by tooth number, meaning it will go from molar to premolar to central, etc just by clicking, or you can actually go down through the chronological order of one specific x-ray, meaning if you were wanting to uh, see a bite wing in the last six months, 12 months, 18 months, you can see here that it tells me the tooth number and that it is image three of three. If I click again, there'll be another image one of three. If I click again, it'll show me two of three. Now for demonstration purposes, these are not all bite wings, but if it was all bite wings, you would see the same bite wing chronologically. To go back to the screen where we were, it's as simple as double clicking again, and you will now be back to the screen where you were before. The last image viewed will be shown as the one that you've seen. Another nice feature when you do double click the image, and double click the images, you do have a full screen slideshow that you could go through that will again go through all the images of the full mouse series. So you can communicate full screen with patients the situation. And it's easy for them to see and understand any of the pathologies, issues, restorative needs, etc., from internal. Uh, if you wanted to complement the internal information with external information, you can then go to your intraoral camera mount, which is where we would save images by tooth number again, and you could easily put up next to an x-ray the image of the tooth. And same thing, you can double click and bring it full screen and talk to them about the fracture on the distal talk to them about the underlying decay that we can see here, which you can kind of make a little bit darker with the contrast to accentuate um, and show that fracture a little bit more prominently. And then double click again to go back to where you were. 